what is going on DeFi rebels i'm aaron we're here for your daily update we're going to update you on all things crypto we got some interesting news to cover today as you can see the markets are red across the board and we said they were going to be we said this weekend this world day weekend's pump was an anomaly based off of the handshake deal between biden and mccarthy so now we are seeing the dust settling a little bit and it looks like across the board the markets are red today dxy pumping up a half percent so because it is the 31st we also get our monthly candle close this evening we are eight hours 45 minutes away this is as of about 10 a.m so pretty close so this is gonna be our first red monthly close all year don't fret don't 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 be too down i mean we're still up 65 ish percent year to date no other asset class can say that nasdaq year to date right 30 percent dow year to date you ready for this one let's see that's october november december january is down year to date 1.34 percent so we're still fine it still is what it is but do we have more downside potential yes i'm going to teach you how to make money in this video i'm going to tell you teach you what to look for if you're the type of person that just buys bags and sits on them over a longer period of time yes that's going to be fine but you know you could be one of the people for example who bought algorand and we're touching all-time lows on algorand right uh, a lot of altcoins right now are nearing at least recent if not all-time lows it's not looking good for crypto right now so we can see that a couple ways so number one crypto exchange volumes plumbing to their lowest we have interest over time on google trends plummeting we have the you know we had a little bit of an uptick beginning of the year you know really in march when we kind of made that 30 31k high and then it's just this is like social mentions of bitcoin it's just been dying off since so the things aren't looking good we're going to dive into the who what where when why how take a look at a couple news pieces spoiler alert binance laying off some staff just a sign of things that are coming right now the largest crypto exchange out there laying off a healthy portion of their staff some ftx news Coinbase news saying that China's going to beat us, the U.S. in the crypto arms race. Dow sliding as you know, traders await the house vote on the debt ceiling. Could we get a pump off of that? It's 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 likely it can happen. But we're going to teach you how to make money. We're going to get you the gravy, the sauce. Figure out where Bitcoin's going to go. Before we do that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps us out. Cost you nothing. And then last but not least, hop in Discord. I promise you, if you do, you're going to stick around and stay. Small, tight-knit community. We are posting that sauce all day long. Let's get into it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I just been living my feet of bankroll. Had a saying go. Got it flooded to my ankles. Need a raincoat. Pair of boots and a dang boat. So look, we have been talking about this now since the original run-up since like 25k since 31k how just the volumes have plummeted to their lowest levels i mean really lowest monthly level since october of 2020 so almost three years guys crypto market doldrums have resulted in one of the most inactive months in digital asset trading in years and it's been on a steady decline you can see binance uh, up it okay you know wobi coinbase and 33 others here but you don't need an article we didn't need an article to tell you this i mean on top of that interest over time on bitcoin on google trends just dropping like a rock like i mentioned before social mentions mentions as well the momentum the interest just isn't there right now it's a sign of the times the economy's tough things are expensive uh, interest rates are high people are struggling it is tough it's a tough time right now i get it so the crazy part is spots carried us right so spots carried us up from like to at twenty thousand to really the 31 k's you can see here we had the uptick perps have been trending downwards the entire time but now spots are dying off too you can see it's a sell side volume is where we're getting the volume is on the sell side uh you know normal orders are going down you know we had a little bit of an uptick but still trending downwards on the well orders normal size orders like sharks for example and then all the small fries down here just just falling off so the volume just isn't there right now see it here another way another another site to see it right so you got your 
You got, you got your aggravated CVD spots, your coin contracts, and your stable coin contracts, your perps, just trending downward, guys. The momentum just isn't there. So when the momentum's not there, if you're just sitting on coins, if you're not actively managing your portfolio, if you're not in a community, spoiler alert, DeFi Rebels, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels, if you're not actively keeping up on this stuff, and I get it, no one can stare at charts all day long. People got regular jobs, a family, a life, but be a part of a community who can call these things out because we've been calling it out since that 31K top, just how it's just drying up, volumes drying up. We're seeing exchanges lay off people, Binance laying off people. Who would have thought the largest exchange out here just closing up shop uh, in, in some countries too, Canada closing up shop, USA getting tough. So everything's pointing towards more downside as the momentum is drying up. Now, summers typically are dry. Summers typically dry up. Not this bad, though. This is different. This is anomalies, three years low. So reports came out today, just, just you know, salt in the wounds, twisting the knife a little deeper. Binance, which is the largest crypto exchange by trading volume in the world, responded to reports, early reports coming out saying that they're cutting jobs. Binance said that it needs to focus on talent across its organization. So they said this is not a case of right sizing, but rather reevaluating whether we have the right talent and expertise in critical roles. This was a spokesperson from Binance telling Coindesk this. So a report earlier Wednesday today by independent journal or journalist Colin Wu claimed that Binance may have laid off as much as 20% of its staff. The firm currently has 8,000 and so what is that 16 16,000 layoffs something like that right 20 percent of their of 8 thousand 1600 um so interesting and this is just like a diplomatic way of saying yeah we fire people times are tough right now we're closing down in certain countries regulations are choking us out so very very interesting uh you know so kind of bearish sad news here i mean obviously you want to see the crypto changes grow maybe they need those people i don't know what's really going on cz knows we can only speculate on this let me know what you think below just a little bit on ftx here so ftx 100 million dollars paid out to lawyers consultants handling its case sullivan and cromwell is the top earner among the firms ftx has about two billion dollars in the bank and we all know they are trying to start ftx 2.0 right now FTX earned 105 million through the sales of four different assets. Here's the assets right here. All these articles will always be linked down below. But yeah, just a little uh, updating on FTX for you there. And then Coinbase CEO echoing something that I said like a month ago or something that China will beat the US in a crypto arms race. I liken this to a crypto arms race. I said, this is the only way that the US will go all in on crypto. And I don't, I don't mean making Bitcoin legal tender. That'll never happen. But Coinbase CEO is saying China will beat the U.S. in the crypto arms race. China's out, or not China, but Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong is out here at the forefront of this. Shared an op-ed today encouraging policymakers to see the big picture with crypto. It's important for American technology leadership and national security that this industry is being built, at least in part, in the United States of America. So he's tugging at the heartstrings of all the, the neo-libs, neocons in Congress. Maybe that's the way you have to attack it. China is changing its tune, as we have seen. So they've you know banned crypto transactions. They outlawed crypto transactions in 2021. However, there is evidence that they're softening their views. Now, this is coming from Hong Kong, you know, trying to be a crypto hub, and then Greenland, a Chinese state-ran company, trying to get in on the action over there again this will be linked below if you want to read the entire article but i just thought this was cool because it was kind of echoing my sentiment so debt deal update time this is the big thing all traders got their finger on the pulse of right so tuesday night it did advance the house floor following a seven to six vote in the house rules committee committee the floor is expected to take place the floor vote is expected to take place this evening at about 8 30 p.m eastern standard time i think we had the votes to pass this today a GOP negotiator on the debt deal said on Squawk Box, on CNBC Squawk Box, Squawk Box, Wednesday morning. So we'll probably get a debt deal done tonight. Now, this is typically bullish for assets. Typically when this happens, anytime a money printer is turned on, anytime the debt ceiling is raised, 
it's like a sigh of relief we'll probably get another pump it'll probably be a short-term pump again but who knows i mean overall we can pump off a little news pieces like this so what i always what i said in discord this morning is you know be ready for this watch your positions because we probably will get a pump off of this bitcoin might do something different we might get that gradual pump but it might actually hurt bitcoin in the near term even more because as the treasury tries to refill its coffers people are going to be jumping into bonds and bills and and things like that as they try to refill their coffers so it could have a negative at least short-term impact on bitcoin not essentially when the news breaks though all i'm saying is just be be um be aware be conscious that this is going on in the background it's supposed to take place 8 30 p.m this evening so just taking a look at the market watch economic calendar setting up for today and tomorrow but before we get into the charts you need to be aware of what's happening and the times that are happening again i'm going to link this down below everyone should have this bookmark marked right so you know so you're not surprised by some economic numbers that come out so today what was interesting is u.s job openings were way ahead of expectations uh spoiler alert a lot of them were ai jobs in the tech sector we have a speaker fed president harker speaks 1 30 p.m this is all eastern time uh, jefferson speaks at 1 30 and then the beige book at 2 p.m um, these might move the markets this probably won't too much if they say something out of the ordinary but tomorrow we get jobless claims u.s productivity construction spending probably not too much there but jobless claims could move the market if they come in off expectations so just be aware of that 8 30 tomorrow morning and then we have uh, another fed speaker at 1 p.m harker again friday us employment report hourly wages and wages year over year let's just jump into the charts though you know i was trying to find some twitter things to talk about it's pretty quiet out there not much going on just lots of speculative posts people posting their charts not very interesting no drama no crazy stuff going on aside from the ben.eth stuff and him launching three allegedly securities i mean he's launching them with like the um the promise of money of making money on it he's even said this is financial advice in response to people um that's just a can of worms but um it's like beating a dead horse we've talked about that so much but that's for the most part it uh, let's just jump right into charts as i mentioned let's start off with just the bitcoin monthly candle close i'm gonna turn on my indicators here so it's not looking good it's gonna be the first red month like i said we're gonna probably print a red dot this evening I don't see why we wouldn't we were never able to make it over the zero line I mean, we had a huge downturn from the top so it kind of makes sense but you know VWAP coming down it's gonna be interesting to see tonight what changes here what happens where things fall so I'm gonna be watching this closely again I think it's like six o'clock seven o'clock p.m depending on what time zone you're in tonight we're just watching that monthly candle close looking at the daily right you can see it's pinched it's pinched off tonight when the daily candle closes I bet you you're gonna see a red dot there I don't know how we can't print a red dot being down almost three percent on the daily VWAP coming down that's gonna go underneath the zero line tonight we got the Stokes the RSI are gonna come down even harder so daily still looks bearish and why because the money flow is still bleeding out the money the momentum it's just not there we don't have any momentum behind us as I mentioned I'm gonna start off with just the Bitcoin monthly candle close I'm gonna turn on my indicators here so it's not looking good it's gonna be the first red month like I said we're gonna probably print a red dot this evening I don't see why we wouldn't we were never able to make it over the zero line I mean, we had a huge downturn from the top so it kind of makes sense but you know VWAP coming down it's gonna be interesting to see tonight what changes here what happens where things fall so I'm gonna be watching this closely again I think it's like six o'clock seven o'clock p.m depending on what time zone you're in tonight we're just watching that monthly candle close and we got it happening right now live you know or not live but when I'm recording this I mean you got that yellow X there that printed that's uh cipher a right you see that liquidity grab we came down and licked that with liquidity this was a descending triangle I said we're breaking we're coming down we're gonna come down to about that 26 303 level now what happened right what happened is we just keep falling and breaking down we broke down here of last night late last night about 10 11 o'clock in the evening in the United States time and then we got that descending triangle you know I posted this in discord before it happened said we're breaking down and we are right now we're breaking down you got the yellow X manipulation you know couple that with the red dot cipher B with uh, you know bear divs on the Stokes bear divs on the RSI 
And then you can just take a look and do Confluence with Bookmap too, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit. But right now, my target's looking at about 26,335. Hopefully, we find support before that. We do have some liquidity in here about that 26,6, 26,5 level. So there's a thick band of liquidity here. Hopefully, we can get a bounce off of. If we don't, you see that volume gap. So that's how we're going to get down to that 26,327. So if we do not hold, really that 26719 level i'm only a couple hundred 150 dollars away from that it's going to get even uglier we're going to come down to 26.3 hopefully we can catch it there but if we don't we're right back into the larger channel that we were in post breakout on the 27th of may right so about from about a week ago so we did we broke out right over the weekend boom 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 and now we're trying to fall back in to, let me turn off these indicators so you can see to this larger pattern going all the way back to the top of the market. So trade these patterns when we fall back in them. We fell back into this one. And we're losing it now. So now we're probably going to fall back into this larger overall pattern. Again, going back to the top of the market, these trend lines. How do you trade these? Long, short, long, short, right? Long, short, long, short. That's how you trade them. That's how you make money. And then you can do the same thing with your, your portfolio. I mean, me personally right now, I'm not sitting on any altcoins minus a few, right? I got some ADA. Um, I got some ETH and some things like that and a few other things I'm doing. But majority of my portfolio right now is in stables, is in Bitcoin when we're in downturns like this. So I can hop in and out of them quickly. You know, when we hit 31K and I saw the volume drying up and us heading towards down, I moved it to stable coins. Now, at some point here, I'm going to I'm gonna hop back in, and then guess what? I just grew my entire HODL bag by a lot. That's what happens. That's how you do it. Uh, that's how you actively manage your portfolio, right? I mean, it's, safely, it's safe to say that we're going down. We have been going down. At some point, we're going to catch support, and then you kind of re-enter. You know, you find your bullish scenarios. So bullish scenario for me right now is crossing above that 28300 mark again. I, you know, I cashed out around here. So we crossed that. If we, if we cross that line, I'm going to re-enter and then I made more money. You know, I, I made, I mean, let's take a look. Let's take a measure move. Almost 10%. I grew my hodl bag. This isn't my everyday trading bag. My hodl bag by 10%. Now, if we come down, I'm looking for more support and resistances, right? And we can find those by just taking a look at my, pulling up my object tree here. Boom, here's my support and resistances. We've gone over this in previous videos. You know, mark these for yourself. These yellow lines are strong, red lines not as strong. But you know, as we crash through these, then they're gonna become sub resistance. So right now they're support, they're eventually gonna become resistance. So this is again, the larger overall. We start tagging on that 25814 level, which we did back on the 24th and the 2012th. This is like the must hold level because we lick into that. We're going to start soaking up all these liquidations down to really about 22,000. It's kind of my bigger overall target right now is 22,000. I would probably re enter my positions then, cash out my stables, hop back into Bitcoin, right? And maybe a few other coins as well. But that's pretty much what I'm looking at. I'm going to show you these key levels again because I did have my Fibonacci levels turned on, so it was tough. There's a lot of lines. It's tough to read. I'm going to go to the daily time frame. I'm going to zoom out. If you remember, this box here is what I said yesterday and the day before, that if we lose that, we're shooting down quick. And look what happened when we lost it. We shot down quick. Um, and I check out Discord, you know? I mean, it's in Discord. These are the main key levels that I'm watching right here. So, actually, I don't know why I have this on here twice. That must have been an accident, but here we go. So, the next key level, about 26,500-ish. The most key level I could talk about where the liquidation start, 25,814. That's where you can see a violent move. It's going to get violent if we can't hold 25,814, which looks what, look at what's happening. I mean, it's acting like a magnet. Unless some orders appear ahead of us, and a lot of them, we're going to go for the orders below us. <clears throat> That's how it works. I'm going to show you on book map here in a second. Uh, we lose that 24 520 is another support 22 910 is kind of my target my key level that i'm aiming for in my larger shorts that i'm in as well as my hodl bags of re-entering the market right and we lose that we can you know continuously look at other levels other levels 
And to get bullish again, 28.3, 28.4. I mean, we need to get back up there. And then we're starting to talk uh, bullish again. I mean, we need to make higher highs again. And we're just not doing that. We did once. That was the weekend anomaly. But then we felt right. We lost it right away. Negated it. Canceled. So we got to do it again if we want to be bullish again. Until then, we look at these levels below us. We trade them. We trade the flags. We trade the trend lines and just have fun doing it. So let's take a look at book map quick. Then I'm going to take a look at DXY tether dominance altcoins a few other things before we kind of round this off so here is bookmap pro this is currently live streaming orders this is coinbase like i said so you can see the liquidity on here you can see below us it's definitely a lot thicker than above us right so we're starting to get some liquidity it looks like people are removing and putting the orders back change them around a little bit but for the most part below us down to 25 24 22 9 you know what i mean like the levels i just talked about 24 5 so it's it's these are key levels and there's many confluence backing all those key levels and why we're coming down some more so in order it doesn't mean we can't squeeze up we can't have a positive day or a positive weekend like we had overall though we are still looking very very bearish with the thicker magnets attracting us lower not much above us right now so that's Coinbase. If you want to take a look at Binance, you see it's the same thing, 26.5. Right? You remember that from my chart from previously? 26.5 was an important level to hold. You know, don't believe me? 26.5, key level. Key, key level to hold. If we don't hold that, 26, 25,800. I mean, just look at it as I zoom in, you can see it's just thicker below us. I mean, the thickest level on this is 25,000 right now. That's going to act as a magnet. Yes, there's some above us. The path of least resistance for liquidity is below us at the moment. Couple that with the volume, the, the deltas, every, the sentiment right now just not being there. We're probably coming down a little bit more. And that's okay. Make money on the downside. You can make money if it goes up or down. As long as it moves, we're making money. How do you find entries? How do you make money? How do you enter into position right now in this market? So it's it's simple. You got to do two things. Number one, you need to know the overall arching key levels, right? Where we might get bounces off of like this 25814. You know, we probably want to take a, a, you know, watch your positions around there. But more importantly than that, if we go back to my normal perp chart here. You just chart it out and you keep your bigger channels on there because those are still going to act as support and resistances. So if I zoom in, we go to the four hour chart, for example, let me get rid of these yellow dashes here, little squiggly lines, right? So we lost this. Look, this trend line acted as resistance. This trend line is going to act as resistance, and then it's going to act as support once we crash below them, kind of like here. So we lost it. And if I go to a smaller time frame, you can kind of see the seven minute. We tried to retest it and we lost it again. <clears throat> excuse me so that's how those act as support and then resistance once you lose them previous trend lines are going to do the same thing until they don't so if we right now we're back in this bigger channel this channel right here right this is the hourly chart you can draw all this stuff yourself you can find these yourself you can see where i drew them here 27 4 ish 26 8 ish uh, so right now we're in this channel. We lose this one. We're looking to enter into the bigger channel again. So how do you find positions? How do you find entries? Well, it's simple. Resistances, right? Yeah, short. Long uh, supports, yeah, long. And you trade those, and you keep doing that until you catch the breakout. And then guess what? You're killing it. You're crushing it. You're crushing it already because you're trading these smaller swings, right? Eventually you're going to catch the breakout. And then you just kind of sit on it, do what you're going to do. There's many ways to come up and find these levels. Whatever works for you, do it. If you want to know how I do it and we do it, hop in Discord. We got a Learning TA channel. We got a 14 video playlist. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look at DXY. We are pumping up about a half a percent today. Go back to my daily chart here. You can see, you know, everyone knows if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about this for a while now. We're getting up there. I mean, we are going to make a triple top, right? Going to make a triple top here at some point. So DXY still has room to come up. You got that W, you got that double bottom here. That's that's 
bringing us up as the dollar rises assets fall and look i mean nasdaq down s p down dow down bitcoin down altcoins down dollar rising tether dominance crushing it's the same type of thing targeting 8.19 8.79 for for tether dominance as this rises bitcoin falls assets fall that's why it's good to keep and know the key levels on those two to for confluence for your bitcoin support and resistance levels as well so things just not looking good i wish they were i wish we were at a million dollars bitcoin and everyone was a billionaire right but when we're in down swings like this you got to treat it just like as if we were in an upswing you got to figure out your options you got to man manage your portfolio and just think about different scenarios total three market cap this is the market cap of altcoins so looking like another kind of flagging here right so it's total market cap of all crypto minus bitcoin and ethereum so these are your altcoins it's just not looking great right now for these you know i mean if we consider this a larger flag you know i mean we still got plenty more downside also looking rough right now that's why i'm focusing mostly on bitcoin right now yeah you can find some gems in there you can trade based you know do catalyst trading based off of news buy the rumor sell the news there's there's ways to make money in altcoins right now i've just been killing it on um Bitcoin. So I think I'm leaving you guys there, really. Um, if you want me to chart specific altcoins, ask in Discord. You know, as you can see, I'm charting them. Um, I just don't really focus because there's so many of them. So I look at the total three market cap to kind of show you guys that there is more downside for altcoins right now. I'm looking for plays in Bitcoin. That's where my focus is right now. Yeah, I'll hop into a few one offs here and there. But I think we got you the gravy, the sauce today. We talked about a couple of key things to, to think about. You know how to find entries briefly we talked about that we talked about liquidity the key level cypher b monthly candle close economic calendar debt deal coinbase ceo ftx binance layoffs crypto exchange volume i think we covered a lot all the big news of the day we got you those key levels i'm looking for the pattern the 26.3 level that i'm looking at for a, a break to the downside and telling you to hop in discord promise you you'll love it see you guys later see you later on today we'll be in discord all day Posting charts, talking, chatting, and if something breaks off, we'll post a video. Later, guys.